Magnus has found himself a bit troubled with the burden of saving all of his friends. Now that he's a bit more powerful and more comfortable with his surroundings, he started venturing out in the evenings. He often goes walking, searching for fallen stars, and wandering through the desert. It's a good place to clear his head, look up at the stars, and think. Although lately, he started hearing rumblings and the sounds of a creature deep below the sand. He will find no solitude in the desert until he deals with whatever threat is looming. He rushed back to the library to start learning more about what could be causing this sound. He learned of a monster called the Desert Scourge. He knew that in order to protect himself and continue his adventure, he needed to track the Desert Scourge down and defeat it. Welcome back. This is Rito with another Magnus the Mage Let's Play. We are doing a Mage class death mode playthrough on the Calamity mod. We are currently moderately powered up with a few good accessories, some decent armor, and some decent spells. Although we've got a few upgrades we can make right off the bat. Between this episode and last, I've worked on farming up a few items. I've got the ingredients to do some iron skin potions, and I also have a jungle rose and a bunch more jungle spores and all sorts of good stuff from the jungle. So the first thing we can do is craft our jungle armor. So we can do jungle hat, jungle shirt, and jungle pants. Let's go ahead and close up our base since it just turned to be night. Clear out the enemies and the squirrel, sorry squirrel. And let's see what else we've got. Well, I can sell our silver armor because there's no reason to have that anymore. And our jungle rose that we have from the jungle can be combined with our nature's gift and it will create the mana rose. We need five moon glows and we've got 10 in our inventory. So we're able to craft the mana rose and we'll want to reroll that because that's a pretty bad roll. The next thing I wanted to do is craft some glass to make some bottles. So let's craft a bunch of glass and we can craft some bottles. There we go. Ooh, we have a pig. Hopefully we'll be able to kill the pig quicker than last time. <laughs> Poor pig's not even touching the ground. <laughs> oh, this is the other thing I've been working on. I've created a big arena. Let me, um, Go get that star. I've created a big arena and flattened out this ground a little bit so that we can fight the Eye of Cthulhu and the King Slime and make a lot of progress. We have so much more mana now with our new armor. And I think we have full mana stars. Okay, well that was 17 gold. That was really worth it. And it made us get all the way over to our water pond, which is what we needed. So let's craft some bottled water. Wow, we've got a lot of demon eyes spawning over here. Okay, now we can head back to base and we've got plenty of bottled water to finish off making our potion. All we need is iron, day bloom, and water. So we've almost got it, just need three more. There we go. And then we can also craft a few man mana regeneration potions. That would be good. Craft five of those. That'll be really helpful to use against some of these first bosses. And our bacon is a well-fed buff item, so we've got that as well. So I'll just put the rest of this stuff away. And the other thing I wanted to do is reforge a few things. 
Masterful. I'll take Masterful. I think it, this might be our new best weapon. We'll have to see. Um, the other thing I wanted to do is turn our 30 Iron Skin Potions into an unlimited Iron Skin Potion. And what that does is it will permanently buff us 8 defense, the effect of the Iron Skin Potion, but it'll just continuously be activated. Whoa! <laughs> this is an awesome spell. Holy smokes. This is going to destroy the King Slime. Oh yeah. That's the weapon we needed. And we got it to Mythical. Our Mythical Mana Rose. That is going to carry us for a while. Before we put away our Wolfram Staff, I want to see how good it is. Honestly, that would have been really good right off the bat. But we ended up kind of bypassing it and skipping ahead two better weapons. So let's put that in our storage. And I think we're pretty much good. Let's go ahead and try fighting King Slime. So we need to grab some potions. We'll do a swiftness, mana regeneration. Um, let's see, what other things could we benefit from? We probably need some just plain regeneration potions. So let's craft a few of those. Just craft three regen potions. And I think that'll be good. Now we can fight the King Slime in our new arena. Let's see how this goes. Throw on our buffs and Oh, we got way too close right there. But it seems that, like the damage is pretty good. Yeah, I think we're going to be just fine. Let's take out a few of these slimes here. Oh, our magic weapon just... Increase proficiency. I hope we get the slime mount. That would be super awesome. There we go. We got him. Yeah, this weapon is crazy powerful. I should have gone for this sooner. Oh, and we have our King Slime lore. What does that give us? Placing your inventory to gain a slight movement speed and jump speed. However, your defense is slightly reduced due to your gelatinous body. Hmm. Don't know if I am willing to reduce defense. This is good. We got the crown jewel. And we have the solidifier. We have the royal gel. That's nice. But most of all, we have our slime saddle, which will be... Probably what we use for quite a while. Another thing I want to do is fight the goblin army again to try to get a plasma rod. But let's sell some stuff real quick. I want to store all of my lore up in my dresser up here. Because the idea I have for this playthrough as far as like the storyline is Magnus needs to figure out how to open this portal. And one of the only ways he can do it is by acquiring different lore pieces. The more lore he acquires, the more he learns, and the more he understands about the world. And so eventually, when he defeats all of the bosses, then we'll be able to open the portal and the playthrough will be complete. And so all of the lore we'll just store up in the top of our base. So let's go find the Goblin Tinkerer and buy a Goblin Standard so we can summon the Goblin Army. And then I'll just farm it up and kind of edit through it because we've already defeated it, but I want to definitely get those items. So with our boss checklist, you can see all of the bosses we have and we've defeated this King Slime. So the next one on the list is the Desert Scourge. After we defeat these guys and hopefully get the magic weapon that we're looking for, 
I want to go try to fight the Desert Scourge. Wow, this is so much easier now with more mobility. Having that double jump and some rocket boots with a powerful staff really makes a huge difference. And all the extra mana we have now, this is great. I haven't even needed to use a mana buff because we're killing them fast enough. There we go, we got the plasma rod. Sweet. Let's see how this weapon works. Interesting. So it's like when it hits the ground, it splits. I don't know, it's not really that good. It's definitely not better than this jungle weapon that I've got. This one's just so dang powerful. And honestly, this Frostbolt is crazy good too, with how much it pierces. Well, we defeated the goblin army, and we even got some goblin banners here, so that's pretty cool. We can put those down, and we have our plasma rod. So let's go ahead and put that on instead of our icicle staff. We can put our icicle staff maybe in our piggy bank for now. So the next thing we can do is craft the desert medallion. Now we've got the ingredients we need. Let's craft our summon. Oh, we need a demon altar for this. Oh, I forgot. We actually have a demon altar right beside our base. So let's craft our desert medallion. Ooh, and I forgot. I had farmed up some rotten chunks between episodes as well so we could craft our lightning boots. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Uh, we may need more ice in order to create the ice skates we need an ice machine so we're gonna have to run over to the ice biome really qu quick and pick up a few more ice blocks and then we'll be able to craft it and that should be good enough 100 ice blocks so now we just need to craft an ice machine and i'll just break this sawmill and put the ice machine right here there we go ice skates perfect now with our ice skates and our lightning boots, we can craft frost spark boots. And let's try reforging these boots once or twice. They're really expensive, so hopefully we get something decent. Angry's good enough. Yeah, hand warmers just need silver thorn, snow, and silk. And we've got plenty of cobwebs. So let's grab some snow and we can craft the hand warmers on the loom. So hopefully this will protect us if we go into space. And let's see if we can go up and not get hurt. Okay, seems like we're good now. So we need to definitely build immunity items if we're gonna try to do stuff like this. So let's grab some of this stuff up here. It's pretty sweet. Tons of planters. Take these bottles as well. Okay, so this one looks like this doesn't have much. Ooh. This is a good island. That can be for where we put the mushroom NPC, if we ever want to do the mushroom NPC. Okay, so this might be silver ore. More silver? Nice. One thing is in death mode, when it, the day comes, we'll actually take a fire damage from being in space. So hopefully it's not going to be day too soon. Because once when it turns to day, we're going to need to be out of here. I think I'm going to skip these islands for now. Because I think it's getting pretty close to day. Oh, I feel like day's going to start any second now. Okay, let's try to grab some 
clouds really quick before we die. And then let's try to grab these walls. Man, these harpies are aggressive. There we go. We got everything we needed. Sweet. So we've got sun plate blocks and we've got cloud. So I think we can craft a horseshoe. Yeah, we just need gold, cloud, and sun plate blocks. That's what I wanted. There we go. We can craft a lucky horseshoe, which means we can also combine our blizzard in a bottle at the Goblin Tinkerer station, we can get a white horseshoe balloon. And we'll just keep our hand warmers available. Now I think we're good to fight the Desert Scourge. Look, there's a slime in our tree. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, we'll put some sunflowers down throughout our arena. Keep us moving fast. Let's go ahead and start this up. Throw on all of our buffs. And here we go. It's doing some pretty good damage. And he's shooting some projectiles here. Kill this guy. Okay, we gotta make sure we stay in the right biome. Okay, we're doing good. Throw on our first mana potion. Some adrenaline here. Oops. And we got him. Let's see what we got from our treasure bag. We got the ocean crest, which allows us to breathe underwater. Ooh, we got the storm spray. Sweet. We have victory shards. We have the desert scourge lore which says placing your inventory for increased defense while in the desert. However, you deal decreased damage while in these areas. And let's see what their damage goes down from. We're at 16. When we drop it, we're at 17. So we lose one damage. Let's try this again. This time I want to put down one of these and let's switch that out for plasma rod and we'll use our last summon. Ooh, this does a lot of damage. This is really good. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that was such a good fight. That was so fast. And let's see what we got this time. We got summon. And we got some accessories. This weapon is so cool. Wow, we're getting so many good weapons. We've got a lot of Victide material as well, so we can craft some Victide armor. And we can also do, oh, let's kill this guy before he gets into our base. We can also craft Victide magic weapons. And now we've got our second lore piece that we can put into our treasure chest up here. Next, I want to definitely reforge this storm spray spell because it is so dang good. Ooh, mythical, perfect. Man, we're getting tons of pigs. I don't usually see this many pigs, but if we 
trap him right here. We'll kill him real fast. There we go. 16 gold. And more bacon. That's very useful. So let's craft our Victide armor. Because that is probably going to be a pretty good upgrade. Victide legs. And let's see what we got for armor. Magic damage. The Victide mask. So the set bonus is reduced mana usage 16 by 16% 16 with our jungle armor and it increases our max mana by 40. And let's see what the set bonus is here. It says when using any weapon, you have a 10% chance to throw the seashell projectile. And so honestly, let's see the, the defense. I think jungle armor might actually be better. So for now, I'm gonna put my Victide away the jungle armor gives us so much mana reduction that I think it's going to be pretty useful. But I think this is a good stopping point. We've defeated the King Slime, we've defeated the Desert Scourge, and we've got a new weapon. The next episode, we'll probably be able to fight either the Eye of Cthulhu or Krabulon. So it's going to be a really awesome episode. So definitely stay tuned. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe so you can see the next one. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.